Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to some of you and peace out to the rest of you. Hit the share button because the message is more important than the messenger, so let me get right to it. CJNBN uploaded a video and I haven't seen it yet. I do plan to listen to it, but the question in the video is one I plan to answer. Then I have a question of my own. His question is, what is the winner of the gender war gain? Whoever wins the gender war must gain something. So what does the winner get? Well, if the hyena wins the gender war, then what she gets is, and notice, I'm not saying the black woman. I'm talking about specifically those hyenas that Kendra D gets to cook him frequently. Well, if they win, what they get is um, not even paternity fraud. They would not have to commit fraud to get this um, paternity mismatch that they would get. They would get uh, baby daddies from 15% of the men or less that they want. Those men would do all of the breeding, none of the feeding. And then 15% or more of the men they don't really want uh, would be responsible for um, maintaining the ladies, uh, the babies, and their baby daddies that they actually do want. Men who um, were in that 85%, but who for whatever reason can't make enough money to support some lady and her babies and her baby daddy or baby daddies, um, well, see, those men would probably be penalized uh, either legally or executed. If they win the gender war, this is what will happen. Now, maybe not executed, probably penalized. It depends on how long they remain in control, but if they are in control, this is what goes on. And this would be organized as a system. It, there would be no need for them to um, uh, utilize fraud and deception to get these ends met. They would weed out 85% of every generational crop of men from reproduction. They would find ways to taunt these men, which would probably change as the trends in clothing and music change. This is what happens and what they get if they win. Now, what happens if the men win? Well, if we win and the black women that don't want to harm us and do anything to us, then we get treated equally like human beings in marriages and divorces, custody battles and alimony if it even remains a thing on the table in divorce courts. That's what we get if we win. We don't expect special treatment. We know that women would fight us for even trying us to um, get such a thing. Hell, they're fighting us now for trying to be treated equally. That's what would happen. Either we would have a feminist model in which men and women are equal in everything, or we would have that model that supports a traditional but also hypergamous woman. We would not be equal in, uh, in everything. They would have their spheres, we would have ours, we would be superior in certain ways, they'd be superior in other ways, but the final authority and responsibility would be on our shoulders. That's what happens if we win. Either they share power and accountability, or we have the power and the accountability. It's, it's that, if we win. Now I'm going to ask you a question. And when I say you, I mean plural you. So it's not just you, CJNBN, um, to whom I'm asking this question. CJNBM and to any men that want us black men to stick around trying to figure out how to start a black family with a black western woman what the hell do you get if we stay and keep trying to get with these women and what the hell do you lose if those of us with the resources and who these ladies were not choosing um, to cream pie them all collectively, rather overnight, all of us, or rather a few of us every week, got our passports, took our resources, got on planes and left. What did you lose in that case? Did you gain anything if we stay? And if you gained something, what did you gain? Now, I know the answer. Don Calypso knows the answer. But before we come out and say it, which is unflattering, I want you to have a chance plural of you to have a chance to come into my comment section and others comment sections or put out your own videos and explain what you gain if we stay what you lose if we bounce i look forward to hearing your answers thank you for listening Black heart, black mind, black out, and now you know why I say black heterosexual, non-select male power, just because she don't like it, and black patriarchy until extinction or judgment day.
Until next time.